No, this is not the set of that 70s show. This is one of the units at my duplex and it is about to get a makeover. It's Johnny in the 2020s. So because this is a rental unit, I'm approaching everything with a return on investment in mind, AKA what updates will actually help me increase rent. You know, things like painting these walls, freshening up these floors, no longer allowing tile to be an acceptable material for countertops. Who thought that was a good idea? But like all good things, remodeling can have diminishing returns. Just the right amount of updates, you're increasing rent. Too many updates and your new tenants are telling their friends they can't believe their affordable new apartment comes with a bidet. So right now we're standing in the main problem area, the bathroom. Now I asked you guys on Instagram, do I gut the bathroom or do a refresh? And you voted refresh. So that's what we're doing. Cause I obviously leave all my important decisions up to social media. Stay tuned for my next poll, should I get a tattoo? So what does a refresh mean in the context of this bathroom? It means I'm gonna keep the original footprint and preserve some of the original materials. So for instance, this ugly, <clears throat> I mean, vintage tile I'm going to keep, and then I'm going to try and preserve the cabinet by painting it and swapping out the hardware. I'll definitely be swapping out the sink, countertop, mirror, light fixture, toilet, and possibly the tub. I ultimately wanted to do a refresh to preserve the vintage parts of the bathroom that are cute and to save money. Okay, mostly to save money. All right, now in here we have problem area number two the kitchen. This morning we ripped out old vinyl floors that were covering up these hardwood floors. Yes, you understood that correctly. There were hardwood floors and somebody said, you know what? I'd rather step on plastic. It was the 70s. They were probably high. I'm also doing a refresh in here by keeping and painting the old cabinets and then I'll update the hardware, sink, appliances, light fixtures, and add quartz countertops. Everything else I'm doing is pretty small, but hopefully with big returns, I'm going to paint the walls and buff the wood floors and the two bedrooms, the hallway, the living room, and the dining room. I'll definitely be documenting the process in my stories and upcoming videos, so stay tuned for a behind the scenes look, and be sure to answer my polls with some life-changing decisions, like do I paint my walls sea salt or salty sea? The decision is yours, my friend.